Think about the people who are around you the most. Are they helping you move forward? As you go on this journey, you will lose some people along the way. Maybe you grew up in elementary school and maybe you see them every single day and maybe you sit on a cubicle right beside them. But if they're not helping you move forward, that means they're helping you remain stagnant. It is either you or them. Now let's just be honest, and I'm not saying you have to choose, but you do have to choose. As you go on this pathway and there are people that you want to be there, how about you get to the place where you wanna be and then you go back and get them? That is not a good idea for you to try to take them on this journey as you're figuring out who you are. Bad support systems, we have them everywhere. And I'll be honest, sometimes it's family. Ooh, it could be that hubby. Ooh, it could be your best friend. It could be mom, it could be grandma, it could be auntie could be siblings. Some people really have great intentions for you and they're giving the information that they believe is true for you based on what they think, but they're not the ones living out this dream. They're not the ones that are having to do the work. And so the bad support system could be someone just trying to protect you from getting your feelings hurt. One of the indications that you may have a bad support system, if there's someone in your life that is telling you to do something that does not align with what you know you've been called to do. I have had many bad support systems. When I first started my business, you know, I went and shared with a family member and I said I was gonna do X, Y, and Z and I was investing in myself and I was so excited that I made this decision. And the first thing that I heard was, well, auntie so-and-so tried that and it didn't work. And of course, what happened to me at that moment, like many of us, it just our whole emotions and excitement just kind of just ah, squeezes the life out of us. How to turn a bad support system into a great support system is laying out your boundaries of what it is that you need and what it is that you deserve in your life. Simply because you created boundaries for yourself and you were voiceless enough to say, that's not what I need, that's not what I want, and at this time, I'm going in that direction, maybe it's not the proper thing for you to go along with me. You may be on a journey where you're doing this alone. Look for the support system within yourself. This would allow you at times when you may be doing this alone, having that conversation with self and understanding that this is what we need to do. When you're on this journey to living your best life and you're looking for a great support system and you have a positive outlook on life, you will have a tendency to attract what it is that you need. The kind of people that you begin to attract in your life, it is a kind of people that are on the same wavelength and have the same type of energy. If I can share how my life has changed because I moved away from bad support systems is one, I realized that no one else should have to encourage me more than I need to encourage myself or try to take me down a pathway where I don't need to be. But it changed drastically and honestly, I found myself alone a lot but that's because I'd never really spent any time by myself. And many of us at this point in our life, as we're becoming amazing, we don't spend a lot of time alone. And so it gave me the opportunity and it gave me the responsibility to me first, long before anyone else. My support system looks like now a team of coaches, a team of experts, and strategists. I have a team of people who don't just tolerate me, but they celebrate me. The most successful people in the world have a network of support from like-minded people, and they build each other up. But on this journey to you becoming and living your best life, the support system that you truly need may just be on the inside of who you are.